Hello everyone, my name is Mayank Pandey and this is my creative project part 4 of 4. So the first question was, what connections did you make from Dali's work to creativity and innovation? Dali's work is deeply connected to creativity and innovation through his involvement with the surrealism movement. Surrealism emphasized breaking from convention and exploring the imagination beyond the constraints of reality. This approach allowed for experimentation and the exploration of new ways of thinking, which is an essential aspect of creativity and innovation. Surrealism also incorporated chance operations and relinquishing control, both of which can lead to unexpected and innovative results. Overall, the surrealist movement challenged conventional thinking and paved the way for new perspectives and approaches to creativity and innovation. The second question was, how did it help me understand these concepts? Um, so I, what I got from it was that surrealism uh, helped me understand creativity and innovation by demonstrating the importance of breaking away from conventional thinking and exploring new perspectives. Uh, the surrealist approach to art, which emphasized the imagination and unconventional use of materials, can be seen as a metaphor for how individuals and organizations can approach innovation, which can lead to unexpected and innovative results. Furthermore, the movement's focus on diversity and culture underscores the importance of cognitive diversity and the value of different perspectives in driving innovation. And these are points I learned from the module uh, using surrealism and Salvador Dali as a lens for innovation. Um, how does creativity connect to entrepreneurship and innovation? Uh, I said that creativity is essential to entrepreneurship and innovation as it involves generating new ideas and perspectives that can be used to solve problems. Uh, it creates new products, services, and develops innovative solutions. Uh, successful entrepreneurs and innovators often possess the ability to think flexibly and tolerate ambiguity, which enables them to view challenges and opportunities from multiple angles and generate creative solutions. Creativity can also help entrepreneurs identify new opportunities and generate novel approaches to business models, leading to innovative products or services. And these are points I learned from um, uh, the blog from mbacanal.com, how creativity, innovation, and entrepreneurship are related. Okay, so the next question was, knowing the area has had profound influence on the world, how has it changed my view of entrepreneurship and innovation in the area? Uh, learning about the history of entrepreneurship and innovation in the St. Pete, Tampa Bay area has expanded my perspective and made me feel hopeful about the potential for making connections and networks that could benefit me in the future. Knowing that this region has had a profound impact on the world, including the birth of Wikipedia and the first commercial air flight from St. Pete, Tampa, it reinforces the idea that innovation and entrepreneurship can emerge from unexpected places and provide a sense of possibility and excitement for the future. Uh, and these are the points I learned from um, the module, How St. Petersburg, Tampa Bay Area Changed the World. Next question is about, uh, find two other examples of creativity and innovation with an organization from the St. Pete, Tampa Bay Area that has had a significant influence. And two organizations uh, came to my mind. The first one was Sindaver and the second one was Tampa Devs. And there's a little bit more about them on the next slide. Yeah, so describe the innovation in the two examples above. A Tampa Devs is a community of Tampa Bay Area software developers and tech enthusiasts. They organize events and workshops to foster collaboration, learning, and networking among the members. Uh, Tampa Devs encourages diversity, and they also encourage inclusion in technology, providing a platform for members to showcase their work, get feedback, and grow their careers. Overall, their initiatives aim to promote innovation and growth in the local tech industry. Sendaver is also another company which is based in Tampa and produces uh, synthetic human and animal models for surgical training. It's a biomedical company and it also uh, develops medical devices and uh, some other things. The company's products are highly realistic and they have been praised for their innovation and potential to reduce the use of live animals in medical research and training. And these are points I learned from the website for both of them, tampadevs.com and uh, sendaver.com from the article, uh, What We Do. And these are some of the citations I used throughout my presentation, um, as I mentioned. And I hope you like my presentation, and thank you for listening to me. Have a great day.